make a family with a girl from Miami is hard because they don't know how to be mothers anymore. They don't know how to be a good, soft mother and look after the child and look after their man because they're so broken people. Who's the best? Who's the best? So why would I do that? I don't want where, where to you, do that. Where do you find a good mother? Well, a good mother needs to be a woman who understands that her feminine imperative. What do you think being a good mother is? How do you find a good mother, babe? Talk to the people. That is hard because I think nobody's going to understand. Andrew Taylor was just about to answer this, but okay. Yeah, I think um, the good mother is the girl who actually cares about the person she is with, first of all. So she um, creates a loving family, the loving um, space for her children to come into. And then she puts on the, her, her first place is... Nurturing. Um, yeah, yeah. Her first um, priorities are her family and her kids. And she doesn't really care about, like, Instagram and what other people are thinking about her and stuff like that. Because then it just kind of takes away of, like, loving part that she has to her kids and stuff like that. Because when you're always trying to, like, reach what other these girls have and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you care too much about, like, your cloud and your man, you just have to, like... You, you start paying attention to things that don't really matter. So what could world. women start doing today that men should look for? First of all, stop looking um, at what other girls are doing and how they look like. Care of yourself and care of what the men want you to be. If you understand what men want, the only way you can get the man that actually wants a family is by understanding what the man who wants a family want because they don't want delusional girls that think that like oh i'm gonna sit home and the prince on a white horse is gonna come and get me that is delusional that's not going to happen you also have to put effort she belongs to the streets. person that the prince on the white horse wants to get w take babe w take so what what, what can the woman do Basically, fucking, stay home. Fucking not stay home. Be off like, Instagram. Stop being a hoe. Focus on themselves. Stop being a hoe. Start making. It started uh, cooking because a lot of you hoes don't even know how to fucking cook. If you if you if, like, there is a way in Russia. I told you from the first day we met. <laughs> if you don't know how to cook in Russia, nobody fucking gonna marry you. No, that is that is not even a joke. I don't no, know no, that's laughing. facts. That's that is facts. for real. That is for real. I think I, it's funny because a, a lot of people wouldn't say that. No, because you are not a good wife. And no, not like you're not a good wife. You would never become a wife if you don't know how to cook. Your own father is not ever going to be proud of you if you never made him a meal that he's satisfied with. If my father would ever <laughs> be like, you <laughs> cannot make me a food. I come home for some reason, whatever reason, my our like mother is not there and you cannot make me a meal. You're wasteless. You're Dang. pointless. Bro, Where she, the fuck are you? She's spitting facts, bro. This is 100% facts, bro. This woman's there, there woman, There was bro. never a time when my father got home or either my mom, which is a 90% would actually, actually doing everything for him or me would be able to like feed a man. Asher says W take. W take. Good job, baby. Good job. That's uh, facts. Let's start with that at least. Let's start with that at least. That's and facts. Then we talk about other parts when they being a host and for no reason going to all these clubs and shit. That's facts, babe. That was 100. And her duty is to be a mother. That's her duty uh, to fe femininity as a whole. It's the most important and beautiful thing a woman can do is be a mother. But a girl who reluctantly becomes a mother or thinks that her career or going to the club or hanging out with her friends is just as important as being a mother is never going to be good at it. You're only good at the things you respect. And I would say Someone it goes both ways. If, and if a dad's doing the same thing, going to the club and stuff, it's a bad dad. It's the same thing. Dad. Correct. You need to understand. <laughs> no, no, well, it's not a bad dad. It's just a bad dad. It is. It is. It is if you're doing it for like degenerate reasons. There are a few guys that go to the clubs and actually network with other individuals. Like, and that's where even even Andrew Tate realizes that like it could be beneficial, but it could also be hedonistic because you're just matching up with the next newest person trending. That's good for like your clout, but it's is it really creating a good value for you, for you as a man? 
No, but like the way I was saying that like 30 minutes before that my dad showed me the world. My dad paid for all uh, the vacations that I've had and not just so I can have vacations and have fun. I was learning from those vacations. And if my dad is providing me all this, like the basically the knowledge of how the world works, I have to provide the comfort for the man that provides me everything. Exactly. Somebody said, imagine, well... Chandon says, imagine the husband works all day and he comes home and his wife does not know how to cook. LOL. I mean, that's the biggest fear, man. I said it before and I keep saying it. The hardest wisdom I've ever got from my mom is the man's stomach always have to be full and the bowl's empty. <laughs> that's the first <laughs> to learn to as a be woman. A good vibe. Facts. W W girlfriend. W then, but it's still slightly different because as a man, you have an imperative to be a father, but you also need to make an imprint on the world so that you're a role model for your children to emulate. Whereas a mother doesn't have to be a role model in the same sense. She has to look after, nurture, care, provide the basics, change diapers, make sure the kid's okay, make sure the kid is happy. But, but the, the dad father can might have the diaper. To go. The dad can change the diaper too. I've never changed a diaper in my life. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Because Be the honest. point I'm making is the man goes away to war and comes back with stories of honor and valor to inspire his children. The woman doesn't do that. The woman keeps the children alive while the man's away. So I'm saying that a woman who understands that being a mother is the best thing she could possibly be will be a good mother. Miami girls don't think that. Miami think that girls think that get the okay. most. That's what I'm saying. There is no point of listening more than this. There is a few things that I, I respect and retain and stuff like that, but there is few things that I actually disagree with him for a hundred percent. It's for whenever he says, "Oh, I never ate a pussy <laughs> and I never changed a diaper in my life." That is disrespectful, and that should not be like men should not act this way. If you want your woman to respect you, you have to respect your woman as well. Is the mutual communication? Is the mutual respect? It's not like, oh, I treat my woman like shit because she serves me. That's never going to work this way. Sex doesn't even have to do anything with this. In sex, everybody's equal. You uh, make your man satisfied. The man has to make sure you're satisfied. All right, babe, quick. quick happy let, wife, let me interrupt. Happy you're talking a lot real quick. Um, I get what you're saying about the whole diaper thing. I know he said that he's never going to change a diaper. I don't. I don't think that's completely one hundred percent true. Like he's he's sticking to that. What he means. What he what he means. What he means. What he means by that exactly. And what he means by that, because I obviously see that as trolling a little bit, is that that is just not his primary duty. It's not something he should really be focused on. That being said, what I take from it is that you should do it at certain times when you see that your wife is struggling. Then yeah, you come in, you jump in, and you help her with what she needs. Like that's that's what being a good husband. <laughs> is and that's what entails and you should have that good so sense of judgment should say this way that is what my point is that sometimes either he has a point with the communication or you're trying to back him up right now. but you see it's because like it's he like he has a point with the communication he has to change the way all right all right let me let me let me talk because nobody is all right babe stop let me let me let me tell you this is why it's important that when you're watching something you have to think critically about the things you're listening to you just don't blindly say exactly what he says without fully comprehending the meaning behind what he's trying to say. What he's trying to say is obviously, like in my opinion, meant to antagonize, but also to like capture your attention. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I will never change diapers. Great hook, you know what I'm saying? And then why did he say, why, how did he explain to it? That's not my primary duty as a man to do those things. And then he went back in time, he gave his whole little history lesson or whatever. What I took from that is obviously to me, that's trolling, whatever, that's a joke. I'm not as insensitive. I have more empathy. Empathy. And I can break it down and I can critically think for myself. And that's what men have to do. They have to take self accountability by truly comprehending what the true message is, not just blindly following and listening. But you see what the difference is? There is men that are thinking like you and they're actually able to critically think, which is a 1% mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. people who are consuming mm -hmm. this information. And 99% of others take this shit straight up. And you know what's going to happen to those men? They're going to fail to maintain their wives. Okay, That's it. but what That's is it. he saying? He's saying that his purpose is to bring a greater good. Then communicate this greater good completely understandable for 100% of the people, not just 1% of the people. Okay, okay, babe, you got it. 
you got your bounty points. You got your bounty points. You made you made a good point. You made a solid point. Instagram followers and go to the best club nights matters more. And I don't want to sleep with a woman who I'm not going to have a future and a family with anymore. I don't want to do that. I've slept with thousands of women, Aiden. Thousands of women. I, you could put them in front of me. I wouldn't be able to remember most of their names. <laughs> it's bullshit. Crazy. I did, but it's but it's pointless. Like it was fun at the time. I'm not complaining. I've slept. I've had more sex than any man could possibly dream of. I had 75 beautiful women working for me. I've done all of it, and it's not. I'm not saying it's necessarily inherently bad, but you oh get to God, a point where you understand that it's a waste ass. of your energy. It's a waste of your masculine imperative. I'll tell you another thing. A lot of men like sleeping with girls because of the ego hit, right? So when you get a lot of these other Twitch streamers who think they're famous, what they actually are. And Some fucker just lit a llama. Let me look at and talking about how he wants to have a wifey. How the fuck could you wish for a wifey if you sit there and do this first and then this second? You can never be a good husband if you ever <laughs> fucking do this. How old are you? Five years old? <laughs> fucking stop biting your fucking nails. Go and do your manicure done or some shit. <laughs> this is disgusting. That makes me want to throw up in front of the camera. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god, I give it to you, babe. That's funny as hell. That's facts, though. That's facts. I'm gonna make him go away. Wait. He's leaving. He knows. He doesn't want to smoke. <laughs> so, so what happens with a lot of these other Twitch streamers? They're losers, right? And inside their heart, they know they're losers. And they know without the internet, they'd never be anything because they've never achieved anything in the real world. They don't have any real world businesses, any real world achievements. They've never been a champion, nothing. So they, they're actually very hollow and sad inside. And that's why they need to sleep with girls to try and feel better about themselves and prove to themselves they're actually some kind of man. But here's the thing that's scary. One, they're sleeping with girls that have no value. If you're sleeping with a girl who's valueless because she sleeps with everybody, then it doesn't work. But they're not even perspicacious enough to understand this. And by extension, what's actually interesting is if I sleep with a girl now, who wins, me or her? Her. Her. I don't get to win. If I go pick up a girl in the club, and I bring her back to the house, and she does a fucking Instagram story with the Bugatti, with the McLaren, at the mansion, top G, hundreds of millions of dollars. I slept with Andrew Tate. I slept with Andrew Tate. She gets to brag. I don't get to brag that I banged some girl. Okay, yeah, she's hot. But there's so many hot girls. There's millions of hot girls. Who cares? I banged a hot girl. She gets to brag. She banged me. She's the one who's getting all the clout. If she's getting all the clout, why am I spending my calories staying up all night fucking her? For what? Why am I giving, why am I giving my masculine energy away to make some bitch famous? I don't want to do that. I don't want to be around any of these degenerate girls. Aiden, do you know how many girls I've caught trying to make sly Instagram stories just because they're sitting next to me, trying to get sly clout? What do you oh, do when they try to do that? I tell them to stop because this is the thing. Didn't he the world a TikTok, a stupid TikTok with this girl who is nobody, and he actually makes a video with her that doesn't make any fucking sense. You literally sent it to me. Yeah, today. yeah, no, I know that was so funny. Um, so what the fuck is he talking about? I think that those are women that he truly respects and admires and he's with from my from if he's saying it that strong and he's making those videos, I think those are women that are truly loyal and 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 understand his lifestyle and live his lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And he allows that to happen because and that woman is essentially earning the ability to do that with how she treats him. You know what I'm saying? And he allows it. You know what I'm saying? But he's not gonna do that for just any single girl. So that girl by definition, must mean that she is special in his life or provides some kind of value in his life. Special girl in your life at the moment. All right, we're talking about Andrew Tate. One. We're talking about Andrew Tate, and that's the only exactly. girl. And that's the only girl we saw. All right. And how can you respect a man who doesn't back up his own words? He did back up his own words. That's the only girl we've seen. So he only has this one girl right now. He has a girlfriend. From what she we've seen, so I don't know. Oh my officially? god, bro. he claims her. Oh my god, I don't know. All right. Uh, Barry, a woman is a reflection of her man. Why are your girl so pissed at Andrew Tate's relationship life? Yeah, like, what the fuck? No, because I'm just pissed because he's saying back up his own words. He's saying that like, oh, I always tell them to stop. I would never make some stupid shit like this. And literally a few days ago, I see this on TikTok. I get what you're saying, but it's not just, I don't, I wouldn't assume that's any girl, but I get what you're saying. Matrix has tried to convince everyone that women hate me because I'm misogynist. It's absolutely opposite. Women come up to me and say, you're a firstly a real man. You're not like that fucking, who's the guy who wears dresses with long hair on Twitch? Who, who's obsessed with girls driving better than him? Hassan. Your friend. Hassan. Yes. It, no, they're like, finally, you're not a bitch. You're a real man. Women come up to me and they adore me. 
They literally fucking offer me their hand in marriage. You're a real man. You understand to protect and provide. You're so brave. You say what you're supposed to say. You're exactly like my father was. You're not a coward. Women throw themselves at me for telling the truth. Women have always loved a man of substance and standard and, and an alpha male. Women are, women are desperate to be seen with me. At every single party, they're begging for selfies, trying to get pictures. They want to be seen with me because they know that if you're standing next to Top G, at least the world's going to see that you think you're a woman of substance. But I don't like, I'm telling you, I do my very best to avoid all of this, Aiden. I'm in a mansion right now. I could be doing a Dan Bilzerian. Dan's a fucking G. I love Dan. I've seen him a bunch of times and he's super smart. I could do the same. I could have a fucking, I could have 50 girls here. And guess how many girls are in my house, Aiden? Zero. I don't want. And you know what's so funny is that my girl actually got me the Dan Bilzerian book. That has 50 girls in his house. So I've read this book. I haven't, I don't think I've finished the book. I think I'm, I'm down to like the last 50 pages. So I understand how Dan Bilzerian lives his life, bro. So I've seen, I've studied this man and I've studied Andrew Tate. All right. And I can tell you by far that Andrew Tate provides the most value in terms of having a great, fulfilling lifestyle, even with his direction towards religion. As opposed to Dan Bilzerian's life, I think it's a fun life, but it's at, even reading it, I'm like, bro, how do you maintain this level of effort and this crazy extravagant lifestyle? It seems so exhausting. And what do you really get at the end of at the end of it? You know what I'm saying? Because he still considers himself an average man with average feelings and wakes up with average emotions. So what's the point of having all these stories? and doing all these things if it's not just for other people to watch you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not as fulfilling when I read this book as when I watch Andrew Tate live his life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that, that's what I've learned from it. That being said, Dan Bilzerian is still a smart ass man. Like, you should, you should read it just to understand that perspective. It's, it's getting really hot in here, right? Them here. I want a woman who loves me, who protects my spirit. If a woman will not pray for me every night, do why do I even do, need do, to do, 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 do you have a woman in your life that loves you? Completely. Absolutely. Where and she? I don't see they're around close by. But the point is, I, the last thing I'm going to do is buy dinner for a bitch yeah, who doesn't pray for me every night. Every one of my wives prays for me every <laughs> night. Do you understand how powerful that is, Aiden? Yes. Have I you ever know. had? You see, and, that, and, that, and that's what I said. I said that the women in his life are apps bring absolute value and support to his life. That's why he allows a woman. When a woman does that, it is not because, oh yeah, she, just, she can just do it because she has her phone. No, I give you permission to put me on your social media. You know what I'm saying? There's a different level of dynamic when you're able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you post me, when you, when you do all these things, you do it because you care about me. You want to show me off to the world. You get what I'm saying? When I do that, I do the same, right? But like, like, like he said, there's a certain level of, of, of I give you permission. You're allowed to do these things. Other women, random women are not allowed to. They haven't earned that right. I am not going to, to allow that shit. And there are women in his life, women around him that he's saying, that he's claiming, that are just like, yo, like, I'm next to his table. Let me just try to sneak in a picture real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let's all comment down so my boyfriend finally posts me on his story. <laughs> I do. No, I have not. Have you ever had beautiful women praying for you? every night that you're going to be safe and protected against the attacks of the matrix have you ever had multiple beautiful women sitting in a circle all praying for you no, at once? no no you haven't you've had multiple women sitting in a circle drinking fucking alcohol and and saying they want to get fucked and saying they want to do videos and pictures for only fans and it's degenerate it's bad for your spirit and bad for your soul if you had those exact same beautiful girls pure of heart and pure yeah. of fucking vagina because they weren't tearing through dick sitting there praying for you your life would be better you'd feel happier you need to find something beyond the hedonism you are entrapped in you can't fall to this is what the devil wants you to do aiden the devil wants me to take my millions and go to miami and fuck girls but i know that no happiness can come of it i know that girls are gonna get a bunch of clout I'm probably gonna end up with chlamydia, I know. and nothing okay, good dude, is gonna it feels happen. So good to release your nut, like so it's good. So real. Just like the it's nut real. feeling, the, it's the best, bro. Just when you release it feels, that, hold on. But it feels when, better. When you, listen, but it feels listen. better to do it. Yeah, but it feels better to do it inside of a woman who you love to build a beautiful. I family. agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. But bro, like, even just beating your meat, you beat your meat, right? Absolutely, not really not. God is always watching. It's disgusting. It's embarrassing. Mm. Next time you're jerking off, understand that God is watching you. 
<laughs> and imagine what you look like. Imagine the look on your face. Imagine your expression. Would you put that video on the internet?